So I was making another video talking about how the greatest decision a woman can ever make in her life, the single decision that means more than any other, whether or not she'll have a life of happiness or one of misery and regret, is the man she chooses to attach herself to, the man she makes her husband or permanent relationship. And in doing so, we get a lot of comments like this, <clears throat> talking about, well, maybe I just won't find a man. Which is fine, that's nothing more than a third option of the same choice. It's be with this man, be with that man, be with no man, period. It's the same choice. You're just making it, and it's going to make the same effect on your happiness, just like deciding the right or wrong guy is. You see, a lot of these comments come from the statistic that feminists have been throwing out lately, talking about how single women are the happiest demographic out there in society, which is a bold-faced lie. If you look it up, it's not true at all. The specifics are that single women under age 30 rate themselves as being the happiest demographic alive. Single women over age 30 rate themselves as being the most depressed, the saddest demographic alive, the demographic alive that's most in therapy, that's most being treated for major depressive disorders. Single women over 35 are the group that's being treated most with psychotropic drugs and antidepressants. Something to think about. And it happens because young ladies like this, amazing young women, who would probably be an amazing young wife, listen to the feminist garbage that you don't need a man, that you shouldn't have a man. And so then what do we see? Once you get past 30, all you have to do, you can go on any Manosphere channel, any Red Pill channel out there, and you'll hear about the wall for women. That's what this comes from. It comes from the fact that women think they're amazing and stay single because they have this awesome life until they get past that point at which in their age their attraction from men starts to decline and then when men are chasing the women five to ten years younger than them who are still single who are still looking to be a wife potentially they fall into the trap of becoming depressed of wondering where are all the good men why aren't i wanted like i used to be why can't i pick up guys like i used to be able to do why aren't guys wanting to wife me up and take me out and build a relationship with me like they used to want to do. And then they fall into their depression. And then they fall into the therapy trap and the medicine trap. Next thing you know, they're here on TikTok at age 40 making videos about how men suck and how their cats are amazing. Just like the red pill guys who fall into the trap of hating women early in life are on here making videos about why they're an incel, about why women suck and they hate women. It's the exact same kind of thing. It's just the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm telling you, my lady, if you don't think that the choice to have a man or not will be just as an effect on your happiness negatively as having the wrong man will, you're sadly mistaken. Not having a man at all, choosing to forego trying to build up a family is the single thing that leads to female depression more than any other. I've never met a single elderly woman I did some volunteer stuff in the past. I've never met a single elderly woman near her death that said that not having children, not having a family was her greatest regret. Don't make that you. Your body was made for a family. Your body was made to be a wife, just as your man's body was made to be a husband and a father. You're biologically driven for that. And I'm afraid there's a lot of ladies out there nowadays who are gonna go through life for going that experience only to many years later, after it's too late, wish to God they could go back and change it. Wish and pray that they could go back and redo choosing to be a wife, choosing to have a relationship, and build up a life with a man. Ladies, don't fall for this trap. Don't fall for the tricks of the feminists nowadays that are leading you to be just as miserable as they are. Be yourself. Be that feminine spirit that's inside of you. Find a good man and build a life with him and you'll be happy i promise but if you follow this attitude you're going to see just how miserable a woman can be